I don't believe in any of my Italy travel logs from 2012 or 2015 that I've ever dedicated an episode to an individual. I've always considered them to be for everyone and no one in particular. However, this one time I'm sending this out to my dear old friend, Andrew. I think he'll know why. Not feeling particularly sociable on this day, I split from my students and did as my friend Giovanni suggested. The best way to experience Venice is to get yourself lost. As always, he was correct. I found myself in a short alley next to a cafe and ordered myself a cappuccino. As I sat alone on a stool outside the cafe, I saw three scruffy musicians hurriedly using the alley as a shortcut to somewhere else. I smiled at the guitarist and, in my miserable broken Italian, pointed to myself and said, Sono musicista. They all grinned and formed a semicircle around me and started playing. I couldn't lift my arms, they were so close, and oh, what a sound. They were street virtuosos, mad gypsies who played like it was their last song, which is really the only way to play. Having purchased gifts for everyone but myself, I bought myself two songs. To paraphrase Brad Paisley, if the angels in heaven don't play like these guys, I'm going to ask to be put back on earth. We shook hands and parted. Unexpectedly, I let out a single sob. Then there was a thunderclap and the skies opened up. There are no pictures or video of this performance. It's just for me, my single present to myself. With the brief storm over and with a couple of hours left to kill, I decided to stroll along the harbor towards St. Paul's Cathedral. I came across this little gate that led to a small park with benches. I will never understand how it is that I was completely by myself in this space, just me surrounded by bird songs and the occasional ship's horn from the harbor. So, in the tourism insanity that is Venice, and as small yellow blossoms rained down upon me, I spent my remaining time in Italia, in virtual solitude, in an almost unknown condition for myself, a completely silent mind.